Uh, I am Dr. Rania Gamaliddin Zaki, Assistant Professor of, of, of Salmonology in Shams University. My project was about a screening survey of pediatric visual impairment, awareness of prevalence and management conducted by medical students. The main plan of the project is to train medical students on how to uh, do uh, the survey. First, by training with them, uh, educating them about the main aspect of the problem, then how to uh, search for the survey questions and how to write them then to, to form the survey, and then I am teaching the medical student uh, first uh, the main aspect of the problem itself to uh, give them a, an image for the problem, then how to, uh, what is the question we are searching for, for in the survey, how to write them in the survey, then how to conduct the survey with the community member, then after after conducting the main survey, they will do awareness process for the community member, they conduct the, the survey with them first, then after that, there is post-awareness survey. Okay. Uh, according to my Gantt chart, uh, uh, I have uh, uh, gathered a group of uh, students, seven students. My main plan was five, but I gathered seven students in my uh, team. Uh, I formed a project team. We started the training process for the students themselves. I train them uh, on the main aspect of the problem, uh, what is the, the prevalence of the problem, how the management is available for, this, uh, uh, for the children. Uh, how do, uh, then we discuss how to write the question of the survey and uh, we form the survey together. Then uh, we form the survey and they distribute them to their commu the community member. Uh, my main plan to conduct uh, 50 uh, surveys. I reached 57, but I'm going to continue to, uh, the survey. I'm starting now to do the awareness process, but I had to slow down because the students have their exams uh, nowadays. So I, I slow down in the process. Um, I think I achieved my short-term goals, which uh, mainly to uh, give awareness for the students and to train them on the problem and the survey, and estimate the awareness of the community member towards the problem. I'm now going to start the awareness process uh, uh, through the student to the community member. Then I will do the post-awareness survey. Uh, the changes that I had to, to make to my project, um, I had to change uh, the face-to-face the, uh, -face meeting with the student and the training face-to-face -to, -face to, uh, to form a WhatsApp group uh, with the student uh, and do online workshops through Zoom meeting. Uh, I sent to them presentations and awareness note and we discuss uh, all of uh, it to, to make them uh, fully understand the problem and its aspect before doing the survey. Then we discuss to, to get your, uh, the survey uh, questions and how to do it. Uh, uh, and now uh, I, the second thing that has changed, I've changed the survey itself from to, uh, paperwork to be uh, on Google Forms and starting to sort of, uh, distribute uh, it to the community through the student uh, using social media platforms as, uh, like WhatsApp group. Then I have uh, to launch a Facebook uh, low vision page for myself to increasing the community awareness. I start to post the, uh, make posts on them on the problem and uh, how to deal with it. Uh, lesson to be learned, uh, acknowledge a change and try to get the most benefits of the situation. Uh, focus on the process, you can always change the tools. Uh, communication can be achieved in many ways to improve student engagement. Thank you all very much.